I'm Christine from Pack Hacker. In this video, we're taking a look at the Fjallraven Konkin toiletry bag, which I've been testing for two weeks. If you find this video helpful, hit subscribe so we can keep bringing you content to help you travel smarter. Let's jump in. The boxy shape and size of the Fjallraven Konkin toiletry bag it, it gives you a little bit of, you know, childhood lunchbox vibes, right? Only instead of opening it up and finding your Lunchables and your thermos and your handy snacks, you're going to find your shampoo, conditioner, and whatnot. Um, the fabric they use for the Konkin line is this G1000 Heavy Duty Eco S, which is basically a blend of recycled polyester and organic cotton. It's coated with a Greenland wax for water resistance, which is good for a toiletry bag that might get splashed. But I do have to point out, oh yeah, you can see it pretty well. Um, it really attracts lint, pet hair, your hair, stuff like that. Th this isn't even my dog's hair. So I'm not even sure what it picked up, but it, it picks up stuff like that. So keep that in mind. Of course, on the front here, we've got the Fjallraven Konkin logo with the cute little Arctic fox. And then around the back is a little Swedish flag because that's where they're from. And then we've got this really nice, sturdy webbing handle. It's like a piece of webbing just folded in thirds. So it's really nice and easy to grab. It's stitched on there really well. And then the zippers are just, um, they're unbranded, not quite sure, but they do work really well. They're just one-sided zippers, but they also have the cute little Arctic box there and say Fjall Raven. So that is that. We've of course got black because we are a pack hacker and that's how we roll. But if that's not how you roll, you could pick it up as of right now in true red, navy, arctic green, and frost green, which is just a little bit lighter and dustier than the arctic green. So, you know, get the one that you like best. So looking around the bag right before we dig in, it also has some sort of foam padding, which you can really see when you open it up. And that is what gives it this little bit of a sturdy nature so it can stand. So then when you look inside, this is the, there's two sections to this, a larger front compartment and a narrower back compartment. I'm gonna start at the front because it's just easier that way. So when you open it up, you will see you've got one very large mesh pocket, zippered mesh pocket. And this is the only place we have to stash tiny toiletries like ponytail holders, contact lens cases, lip balm, lipstick, stuff like that because everything else can just sort of fall out of slip pockets. So it, anything, anything tiny you have, you're gonna wanna put in here, okay? And then on the opposite side, we have a variety of slip pockets against, I'm gonna pull this makeup compact out for a second so you can see, we've got this light gray interior and we've got two um, slip pockets here. They're, they're just, they each take up about half of the width of the bag and they're good for bottles. You can put lotion in there. You can put pretty tall things in there and still get the zipper around. So that's kind of nice. And then on this side is a much shorter little pocket. I found it was really good for toothpaste, like travel size toothpaste. But I do have to say like when you, when you have a lot of things in here and you're trying to jam it in, sometimes that little pocket, yeah, you can see like it gets a little hung up and you, it, it can just be a little tricky to work with there. And then over on this side, we've got two elastic pieces and they are good for, you can see I've got a razor here. I've got a travel size toothbrush, but if you, so travel size toothbrush fits here and you can zip it up around it. If you had a regular size toothbrush, you do have room to lay it down, but this is nice to stand it up at your hotel room to let it air dry during the day so you don't have to lay it on the counter. So that's cool. And then there's just a little more space to, you know, put another bottle, put a little makeup compact, whatnot, whatever else you need. So that's the front compartment. Flipping around to the back, 
Again, just the one-sided zipper. So the only thing is like if you need something on the opposite side of the zipper, you do have to open the whole thing to get it. You can't just like peep in and get it. Whether that bothers you it depends on how picky you are. I got over it pretty fast. So anywho, now on the back here, against the liner, we have this little name tag. So you can put your name and your contact information. I mean, I know we all have air tags or tiles or other trackers, but sometimes it's nice if you just like left this on the hotel bathroom counter or the Airbnb, they can just call you instead of you, you having to figure out where you left it. So there's that. And then we've got two other slip pockets back here. This one is wider on the right side. You can see I've got some travel tissues there. Also fits a bar of soap really nicely in a travel container. And then I've got, just got some lotion here, but that, that's about it. Then you have some open space. I've stashed my hairbrush here, but you can also put the hairbrush fits in the front compartment. Just be sure to turn the bristles away from the mesh pouch, which is why I kind of liked it in the back better than the front, but depending, you do you. Um, but you have a little more room here and you can fit quite a bit in here. I, you know, I went for a weekend trip and had no problem fitting everything for myself and my husband, although he doesn't carry much. So there's that. Um, but you can, you know, you can fit quite a bit in, in this little package and it's kind of nice to squarely fit in your travel backpack, which is great. So there you have it. The Fial Raven Konkin toiletry bag. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.